गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल अल्फा प्लस एजुकेशन आई एम संजीव कुमार झा एंड ब्रॉड फॉर यू वीडियो टू लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज डिफाइनिंग अ वेरिएबल एंड डाटा एंट्री इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन वीडियो वन आई विल गिव आई link to the i button above you can see there in which i have talk about overview of the spss so in this video i will let you know how to define a variable in spss and how to enter the data okay how seek so what uh, most important question is what is a variable so the word is composed of very plus able so variable is the entity that has ability to change very means change able means uh, ability so variable means ability to change for example height of the student can be one variable it will change with the time price of a biscuit packet price of a biscuit packet can be one variable its you know rate will change with the time with the increase uh, the weight of its ingredient intelligence of the student marks in english consumption consumption of cigarette etc so these variables changes with time or any treatment if you are doing an experiment so this can change for example you are teaching with some uh, methods so marks in english can increase or may decrease so it will change with the treatment or experiment or it will change with the time so how to define a variable variable meaning and its description is extremely important and you will read various thing about the variable in research methodology i will also have some videos on research methodology A link you will find in i button above about the variable but here my focus is only about the software how to define variable in a software okay so there are two aspects in software one is called as convention another is called as law uh, in describing a variable we should keep these two things in mind one is called convention second is called law okay convention means these are some kind of rule which we supposed to follow means if we will follow these rules it will be helpful in the analysis it will helpful in the understanding okay and laws means we have to compulsorily follow it convention can be ignored but laws you have to follow it and if you are violating law the spss will not respond okay the first convention is variable name should be in meaningful so whatever variable we name we should use meaningful names meaningful because when we have 10 20 100 1000 variables we can understand each variable by name only we can identify each variable by name only so that it will be helpful in analysis so the variable name should be meaningful ha huh? because it is convention you can have uh, meaningless names but that will not help you in the process of analysis don't end a variable name with a period okay do not use full stop at the end of the variable because full stop is a kind of variable in spss so it will spss will may get confused and it can give uh, some garbage results variable name should be in small case no we should you uh, use variable names in small case only just to differentiate it from the other english words 
or other words in the analysis report. Use underscore between words of a variable. For example, a variable is called height of the student. For height of the student, I may define it as height underscore student. It is meaningful. Meaningful in the sense I can see this and tell it is the height of the student and separated by the underscore and I have not used any full stop there. Okay. So in convention you can ignore this, you can use capital names, you can connect without space, you can do anything but that will not helpful in analysis. Law. Laws are the thing you have to compulsorily follow it. Without that you cannot start working on this. Let us see. No space in variable names. For example, height student. So this is a space between height and student. So any software including SPSS will take it as two variable. From space it separate out the variable. So don't name a variable with space. Unique variable. Unique because you will not get confused and if once you have defined one variable you cannot give this name to the another variable. You can't use SPSS reserved keywords like all, and, by, eq, ge. You need not to remember these words. Once you will using these words, SPSS will itself say no because this is law and we cannot violate the law. Okay. And these are the property associated with the variables in SPSS. Uh, first is name of the variable type of the variable, width, decimal, label, values, missing, columns, alignment, measure, role. All this is properties of a variable. So how this property is defined, how we do this, we will do one by one. Uh, first we should go defining a variable. So we know convention and laws. Next type of variable. Research methodology may have different types. For that, I will give you another video in I link above. But for now, I am focusing on the SPSS only. So I will let you know what is the different type of variables in SPSS. Type of variable. You will see this number of variables are there in SPSS. Numeric, comma, dot, scientific notation, date, dollar, custom currency, string and restricted numeric. Okay. So, uh, when you will click on number, these are called radio buttons and you can select and only one at a time. This is the property of radio button. So, if I have selected numeric, so this something will come upon here. Width 8, decimal place 2. Means, I can enter 8 digit number and 2 digit up to decimal place. So depending upon my requirement, I will give the value here. I can give it 10, 20, 5, 2, 3. So depending upon the, for example, I am making a variable student ID and my sample size is 100. So I know my work will be finished in three digits only. So I will give you here three and no decimal place will be there. So I will put zero here. Okay. So, comma, dot, these are the scientific notation, these are the variables which separate out the numeric variable. Like, if I select comma, it will give comma or dot between the number for 4500. So, it will give comma or dot or scientific notations you know. So, next is date. When you will put uh, this button on date, this will come which format of date you need day month year complete or year or uh, two digit of year only or any form you want okay so dollar is for currency means dollar custom currency we can add any currency string means alphabetic 
string means characters characters you know when i will click on string this character will come i will give here 8 9 10 15 20 depending upon the size of the variable if i have uh, given variable name height of the height student height underscore student so i have to reserve the that many character here okay restricted numeric is nothing more than integer but you have noticed in excel or in any such kind of database we cannot start a number with zero so if we have to start a number with zero we can take this type of variables okay most of our work will be done with this two variables numeric string numeric means number string means alphabets okay consumption of cigarette consumption of sugar then string will be there height of the student marks of the student number of biscuits sale per month you know so that kind of variable in numeric so these two we need to focus we can add property here of for these two measure of variable one of the most important aspect is measure of variable measure of variable means nominal ordinal interval ratio these four are called measure of variable detail of this scale we will read in research method methodology link you will find in i button above for the spss uh, for the stake this nominal means categories only boys girls ruler urban male female ordinal means ranking first second third fourth interval means equal spacing and the ratio means equal spacing plus absolute zero and interval and ratio do not differ in more, um, in the property or in the operation of statistical way the only difference between interval and ratio is that uh, ratio has absolute zero interval measure has no absolute zero so statistical uh, spss do not Uh, discriminate between interval and ratio so it gives scale so in spss you will find only three measures nominal ordinal and scale okay so when you will click on the measure when you will click on alignment you can put data left right central column number of columns input tie uh, role miss input we have to enter the data but when you will click on measure it will give three options nominal ordinal scale scale means interval and ratio so you can click on either of the option while clicking defining variable let me take you to the interface so that you can understand this aspect uh, interestingly so here i am so while defining a variable i need to write name here means student student id uh, for example my sample size is 100 so this is student id i have used this uh, name of variable in small caps i have separated out the variable with the underscore i have not used dot i have not used any keyword i have not uh, used space between the name of the variable and i know student id is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 something like that so it will of numeric type so you will click here and click here here you can choose your variable but for id i am choosing numeric and it will be only 100 so three digit and it do not have any decimal place okay
So you will find what I have defined here. I can also define from here with three decimal place. Label means uh, statistic software will deal variable like this, but what you want to see in the output. Okay, so in output I may see like this uh, ID of the student. So if I give label like this, so whenever I will analyze the data, this will appear in the output, not this one. If this one will appear in the output, I may get confused, but it will appear like this if I will give the label values. Values means we can put some values, but I will let you know in the next variable. Missing means if some value is not, if for example, some question, uh, questionnaire have 10 questions and some student has not answered one question, first question number one, some have not answered question number five. So we'll deal with the missing numbers. Column, you can add any column. And alignment means right alignment, left alignment, center alignment, where the data will be placing. So in generally, numeric data is placed right side. Measure, uh, we can have scale because number is increasing there. Input means we are inputting data. Next will be gender of student. Okay. Gender of student, it will be a string, either male or female. Okay, so female F E M A L E. Six character is there, put the six. Okay. Again, because it is a string, so no decimal place, six is the width label. Gender of the now see value. For every time putting male, female, it will create problem in data entry. So what I will do? I will put value one for male. Add two for female. Add Okay, so I have given value. Now I will put only one or two, one or two, one or two, so that it can uh, explain about that. Again, missing value if someone has not filled the gender, how can we will deal with this? We can use some kind of these values. Character is this is string data, string data is kept left only. Uh, this is gender means category you can see it's itself come nominal because i have defined it with male or female and this is input data okay marks english again this will be numeric i define it uh, for example 100 marks paper so three digit and let uh, marks may be in decimal so two digit okay three two marks scored in english value will be none because i have to put the actual marks of the students missing value none right unknown so again it will be scale okay so i have defined these three variables so this is the process of defining variables and it will come in the variable view now if i will come in data view how does it look like yeah. this is how i have defined the column column 
column width if i will decrease this you can see this is decreased if i will increase the column length so it will be set like this so column length depends upon the size of variable if the size is more we should put this more and if it is not putting here no problem for example here is 2 here it is 3 here it is 4 3 so it will come like this i can adjust it here so you can see here values itself okay so now here i can enter the values student id 1 2 Three, four, five. Okay. <clears throat> Gender one, two, two. Now see, I am entering the number, but it is coming male or female. You know why? Because I have given values here. Okay. Cancel. Marks of ten, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-eight point two zero, thirty-nine point two two, forty. Okay, so I have given up to two decimal places. so it will take itself two decimals if it is in two decimals that's okay otherwise it will take two so likewise this we can enter the any number of data any number of variables so here now you can see here variable 3 3 are visible so this is the way we enter the enter the data in the this however we can import data import data from excel sheet we can import data from ms access we can import data from any database okay so we have some options for that a uh, new uh, re, uh, here open database open project data internal data output script read text file so here i can take data from other sources or here i can export data to the tm so entering data is either here or we can put in excel while entering data in excel we should need to focus on conventions and laws because when i will use this in excel and put space then it will not read properly okay so this is all for this video hope you like this video